Don Olivieri's role as Sarah Atwood was one of the most exciting things about season 5 of Yellowstone. And now, Don wants to take her character to a whole new level to prove herself. But hasn't Don Olivieri already done enough to prove herself? Don Olivieri is the type of actor who can make a big impact with even the tiniest of roles. Her work has been featured in many films and television series, such as The Vampire Diaries, Heroes, and Seal Team. But it was the Taylor Sheridan show 1883 where she made her mark playing the role of Clara Dutton. Little did we know that would be just the start of an amazing collaboration between Olivieri and Sheridan. The Yellowstone showrunner saw something special in Don and brought her back for his flagship program, this time as Sarah Atwood. Unlike most characters, Atwood isn't just the typical predator. She's a mix of siren, shark, and seductress, who can both allure her victims and wreak havoc, thanks to an amazing performance by Olivieri. Dawn is actually quite different in real life than her roles on TV. Her social media feed is filled with pictures of her property and animals, which goes to show how much of an introvert she is in comparison. Despite that, Dawn takes on the challenge of portraying strong female characters with ease. According to her interviews, this is all thanks to Sheridan's writing and casting decisions. It's very easy. It's almost just written on the page for you, she told Den of Geek. You really don't even have to do anything. Taylor knows strong women and how to write for us, so it just becomes a matter of saying the words. Don Olivieri has certainly made her mark in television and film, and it's left me wondering what the future holds for her. So, what's next for Sarah in the second half of Season 5? She might just get a much bigger role. Sarah Atwood has been the major driving force of this season of Yellowstone. Sarah is determined to bring down the powerful family dynasty and was last seen in the mid-season finale with her cohort and adopted son of John Dutton, Jamie Dutton. In the first half of season 5, Olivieri admits she was a bit disappointed with her character's role as Jamie's accomplice as she initially wanted to interact with the other cast members. After working with Bentley though, she understood why he had been chosen for the part. Jamie is one of Yellowstone's most difficult characters to portray. We've seen Jamie come out of his shell, opening up a whole new world of possibilities for the character. He's moved from spinelessness to villain, and it's been one of the most exciting developments in this season of Yellowstone. Olivieri trusts that Taylor Sheridan knows what he's doing as showrunner, and she's issuing him an unofficial challenge to work her character Atwood into the big picture. Though production hasn't even started on the second half of season 5, Paramount Network has promised it will arrive this summer. And I definitely can't wait! Sarah Atwood will be up to something, and I think she'll be the source of a whole lot of drama. And her next target might just be the Dutton's only daughter. So, let's get into the storyline we've all been waiting for. Could Sarah take on Beth Dutton? Dun dun dun! Talking about the dynamic between Sarah and Beth, Dawn said that Taylor Sheridan knows her capabilities and she set out to push her character as far away from Beth's orbit as possible. That way, when the time came to bring them together, it would be all the more explosive. The time couldn't be better for Sarah's entrance either. As Dawn put it, the Duttons are currently flailing and Sarah is the predator swooping in to take advantage of their vulnerability. Dawn also mentioned that she was intimidated when she found out that her story would be told in just two episodes in 1883, but it ended up being the biggest challenge she could have asked for. It will be exciting to see what Dawn has in store for the rest of the season as Sarah takes on Beth Dutton and all of the other characters. Speaking of characters she could take on, Sarah could also set her sights on Jamie Dutton. In fact, she could even murder Jamie. Don Olivieri is all set to cause some major chaos in the fifth season of Yellowstone with her character, Sarah Atwood. But at the same time, she also creates a lot of questions with her role. In an interview, Don was asked what she thought of Sarah's line, I don't think we can let him show up to the fight, from a recent episode. A lot of viewers thought she wanted to murder Jamie. Don played coy, 
laughing and saying that Taylor Sheridan loves writing these ambiguous moments for viewers to ponder about. When she was pushed further, Don admits that she couldn't say for sure what Sarah's line was intended to mean. But since Taylor Sheridan loves to keep viewers guessing and creating cliffhangers, it could be open for interpretation. It's no secret that Taylor Sheridan loves bringing back actors he's worked with in the past. In this case, he casted Don Olivieri twice in two different roles in 1883 and Yellowstone. It's going to be a while until we find out if Sarah is truly willing to kill Jamie. Until then, one thing is for sure, there are definitely some interesting days ahead. But whether she murders Jamie or not, if there's one thing we can all agree on, it's that she definitely likes him in one way or another. What does Don think about that? Well, she also talked about that prospect. When Don Olivieri was asked if Sarah has any feelings for Jamie other than the fact that he's useful, she pretty much just answered that it wouldn't be interesting if she didn't. That sounds like a confirmation to me. She shared her thoughts about making the character of Sarah a real woman and not just a cookie cutter villain, someone with struggles and depth. And she went on to explain that no matter how diabolical Sarah is, it's impossible for her not to bond with someone after having sex with them. In other words, she wanted the viewers and Sarah herself to be confused as to whether she's really into Jamie or how far she'll go to get what she wants. So the question is, will Sarah follow through with her plan and murder Jamie to get what she wants or will her feelings for him ultimately win out? That question will likely keep all of us on the edge of our seats. But hey, I'm not complaining. And of course, being with Jamie will also give Sarah a lot of benefits. She could even become a first lady of Montana. When asked whether Sarah would become the first lady of Montana if she succeeded in replacing John with Jamie as governor while officially being his wife, Don Olivieri had an interesting outlook. She explained that Sarah is driven by more than just money. There's a thrill in being able to outsmart and outplay even the strongest opponents on the board. The money is appealing, sure, but Sarah is more interested in the challenge of getting what she wants. It's about proving that she can outwit the best of them. So if becoming first lady of Montana is a win for her, then you can expect Sarah to be more than willing to take on that role. After all, what could be better than outsmarting even the toughest governors? Who said politics was boring? It's certainly not in Montana. This is one of the most exciting storylines to come out of the show so far. And it looks like Sarah might just be able to make her mark as first lady. So, do you think Sarah would be a more important character after the mid-season break? We'll see you in the next one.